All right, hello there, and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. And in this one, we're gonna be covering how to use Bezier shapes. I'm gonna create a shape right now, and I'm gonna have this unchecked, and I'm gonna make the shape. Now, if we go under the rectangle, and then under the path one, you will notice that we have different properties such as size, position, and roundness. These are the parameters that we have. But notice if I was to select Bezier path and then create another shape right here. If I was to go under its parameters and then open up the path one, it would just say path. So that is the difference with a Bezier path shape. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to delete this first rectangle one and I'm gonna drag this guy over and I'll put the anchor point in the middle. Now, what can we do with this? Well, notice that if I click off here and then select on the path one, you will see that we have these different vertices on the corners right here. And I'll zoom up a little bit so that you can see. We have these different vertices right here. And this one right here, you will notice is a little bit bigger. I'll zoom in a little bit closer. It's a little bit bigger than the other ones. And this guy here is known as our first vertex. Now if I zoom out and I grab the pen tool, you will see that we are able to add points to our shape and we're able to drag the points to where we want it to be. So we have a lot more flexibility with Bezier path shapes. And if we want to remove a point, we just have to press control and then this minus will appear and we click and then the point is removed. So that's how you can um, remove your points. Now I'm going to go ahead and create another point and I'm going to drag this time on it. Notice that we now have a continuous Bezier point with handles that are parallel and I can press the selection tool and move them around. Now if I want to make these just Bezier where I can move just one point, I go back to my pen tool here and then I hold down Alt or Option on the Mac and I move my handle to where I want it to be. And if I want to set this point back to linear, then all I have to do is hold Alt or Option on the Mac and then click on the point and it is set back to linear. So that's how you can uh, really manipulate your points here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and delete this guy and we're gonna create a circle and we'll give him a different color. So I'm gonna press shift and drag to create that perfect circle like this. And then I'm gonna press V for my selection tool. I'm gonna open this up now and then I'm gonna click on path one. And then I'll click right here. Notice that we have handles already created with our circles. So if you create a shape with a curve on it, it's gonna have handles. So that's something that you can keep in mind. Now we can also go ahead and just create Bezier shapes. So I will go up here and grab my pencil and then I can just create a shape that I want with the pencil and it has the handles as well because it has curves. Now let us look at how we can animate and how we can set the first vertex of our shapes. So let's start off with animation. I'm going to first grab my polygon tool right here and then I will just draw it out and we'll change the color to uh, this right here and we'll center our anchor point and we'll grab it and drag it right here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop down here in this menu and then go to the path and at the beginning, I'm gonna put a keyframe. Then I'm gonna go five seconds in time. And I will then click off and then click on the path one again so that I can grab my points. And I'll just drag this out the way that I want it to be somehow like this. And this right there. Now if I play this back, notice what happens. we have just animated our Bezier shape. So that's how you can animate it. And one thing that we need to look at here as well is the vertex. Our first vertex is right here, but if we wanna change this to a different one, say this vertex here, all we have to do is simply click on it and then right click, and go down to mask and shape path, and then go to set first vertex. Notice what happens if I play it back now. 
the animation is completely different. So if you change the first vertex of your shape, the animation is going to be different, but the ending shape is always going to be the same. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna delete this keyframe here. And I have my polygon again. And I'll drag it over here and I'll put my anchor point in the middle. Now what if we wanted to say morph this into a completely different shape, say like a circle. Well, with our contents and our shape layer selected, we are going to press shift and we are going to draw out a perfect circle first. And under our ellipse here, we will go down to the path, press command C to copy it. And then down here, we already have the first keyframe for the polygon, so that's good. We will go to about five seconds and press command V and paste. And then we are going to go up and we are going to turn off this ellipse one. Now, if we go back, notice what happens. It is now morphing into a perfect circle. So that's how you can morph your shapes. Now, one thing that you need to remember is that if you start messing with the transform properties of the shape that you're going to be copying from, like the scale or the position, when you paste it, it's not going to come out the exact same because you are just copying the path. So try to remember that. So that's how you can work with your Bezier shapes in After Effects. Now, if you like this video and you want to learn more, be sure to subscribe below and to click on the bell. And we will see you in the next video. Until next time.